Are you ready to get up? I've always hated Tuesdays. But you came into my life on a Sunday, my favorite day. I feel like I'm on like a first date and I just really, really want him to like me. <laughs> he's having a bit of trouble coming into the house, likely because he's never been in a house in his whole life. And all of a sudden he's thrown into this strange new place. At the shelter, I told them to show me the craziest dogs, the ones that nobody else wanted. You were definitely crazy. <laughs> but it was my kind of crazy. Django's at my feet right now trying to eat the samosa. <laughs> He's pulling me. Django! <laughs> I have some really big news. Django and I are going to be fostering a dog at our house for six months, and she is the cutest. Look at that face. Look at that face. She is so cute. When she first met him, they were fine, but then as soon as we got into the apartment, uh, I think because it was more of an enclosed space, she got really nervous and she would go back under the bed barking if he would walk by, trying to bite him sometimes, and he's just such an easygoing kind of dopey dog that uh, it was really sad actually. By the third day, she realized that he was not a threat whatsoever, and then they're playing every day. They're playing inside the house, they're playing outside the house, completely comfortable with each other. Because that's what we all want, isn't it? A safe place where we can just feel love. And I don't think Django has been this tired in his life. <laughs> oh, buddy. you to know that you weren't broken. You just needed someone you can trust. <laughs> when you died, I asked a friend how people can do this. Have dog after dog knowing that they're going to die. And he said, because you get to see them live. I don't want to, but I have to let you go now. <laughs> 